Hello friends, welcome to my channel here at Techies. In this video, I am creating my first Angular Mindin application and we can review the files and the folder structure. So Angular introduced their latest version Angular Mindin on November 19. As usual, they have introduced some new features that I will discuss in the separate video. So in this video, uh, mainly we can see what are the configuration level changes we have to do for this Angular 19. So then we can create one brand new application in both standalone and model based template. And then we can review the files and the folder structure. That is my plan. Okay. So the first thing is uh, we need a Node.js. Angular 19 will support these versions. So if you have a higher version, then it is fine. Otherwise, you have to download the latest version from the Node.js site and install in your machine. So if you already installed, you can verify using the command node-v. Okay. See, already I'm having the node version is 22.4. Okay, that I can use. So in case if you don't have, go to the official site of Node.js, click the download link. So here you can go for the pre-built installer and then select the version. The LTS version is 22.12 and also we have a current version 23. So in our case, we can use this 22. It's fine. Next, we have to choose the OS. Then we have to choose the running version. Okay. And then by clicking this link, we can download and install the Node.js. Okay. And the next thing is TypeScript. So this may be considerable if you are upgrading uh, since you are creating the new application it will be included the latest version automatically okay the next thing is we need to install the angular cli this is the command npm install hyphen g at angular cli this command will install the angular cli globally so in case if you have a lower version already installed i am recommending to uninstall the existing one then install this latest okay by doing this way, uh, we can avoid some catch issue. So in my case, already I'm having the Angular CLI version 18. So let me uninstall them. Okay, the uninstallation gets completed. The next thing is we can install the Angular CLI. Okay, the installation gets completed. Uh, next, I can execute the ng version command. See, the Angular CLA version is 19.0.2. Okay, so the next thing is I am creating the application. We can use the same command prompt. The command is ng new. First step, this is my application name. And uh, for the styling, we can choose the CSS and server side rendering, we can give yes. And then would you like to use the server routing and app engine APIs? Actually, it's in developer preview for this server application. Yes, you can choose. Okay. So basically it will take some time. Meanwhile, I want to share one more information. So if you noted for creating the application, I have provided the command is ng new and then our application name, okay? So in this case, it will create our application as standalone template. The same way, if you want to create the model based template, we have to add no standalone flag in our command itself, okay? Once this creation is completed, I will create the another application with model based template. Okay, the application is created. Uh, let me open in the VS code. Okay, this is my application and we can run this one. Okay, we have a same default template. Uh, here we have the links for the documentation and everything. So it's simply redirecting into our angular.dev tool. So if you want to refer any of the individual topics that we can check it from here, okay? So the next thing is, as I mentioned, we can review the folder structure. So as a developer, uh, we will mostly uh, touch with the source folder, okay? So here we will have the default component. So if I'm opening this TS file, See here, 
actually uh, this is the standalone component okay so if you worked up to the angular 18 here we can see one flag that is standalone the value should be true for all the standalone component from this angular 19 they have marked the components are defaultly all are standalone if there is no flag then it should be considered as the standalone component okay then you may have a question how we can identify if it is not standalone component so in this case we can have that flag standalone the value is false okay this is one of the major change in this angular 19 then css and html these are the normal things only spec okay and we can see this app.config for server.ts so this configuration file is for the server side rendering okay so already we have this app.config okay it's for our normal config file or we can see this file in all standalone templates so defaultly we have this provider zone change detection and then provide router and provide client hydration so additionally once we started our implement we will include a lot of providers okay so the same way for the server side rendering they have a new config file okay and another one new feature actually it's in the preview mode that is app.routes.server okay so defaultly we will have a app.routes file uh, here we can map our routes okay like a route value with our component so the same way for the server side rendering we have the route option okay by using this file we can configure what are the routes to be the part of uh, server side rendering and normal client side rendering okay so again it is in the preview stage only and uh, this one we already discussed our normal routing file and uh, html this is the initial starting file and this app route is nothing but our component that we can see it here okay the same selector only we have used it here and the main dot server uh, again this one also for the server side rendering and then our main dot ts file so here only we have included all those bootstrap related things so the configuration wise if you look at here we have uh, three files one is app config then app dot routes and then main dot ts for the same way for the server side rendering we have app.config app.routing and then main.server okay and then server.ts this is purely for the server side rendering and then style.css okay this is our global css uh, so if you want to share some styles globally in our application then we can include it here and angular.json this is our core files right and then package.json we will get the library reference here and tsconfig again this one also a kind of configuration file okay and other files are same only like our previous version okay the next thing is i am creating another one application with model based template so we can use the same path the command is uh, ng new First step. So it's not a standalone, so I am providing no ST. Okay. So let me create once again. Actually, I'm not included that flag. No standalone. Okay. So again, here also we can choose the style CSS and the server side rendering. Yes, I can give and the server routing. This one also we can give yes. So anyway, this one also it will take some time for creating the new application. Okay, application is created. Uh, we can open in the VS Code. Okay, application is open. So again, we can start from our source folder. So in this component side. So in here we can see this app dot routing dot model. Okay, because it's purely based on the model. For the routing itself, we have one model file. 
and mainly if you look at the component side see this flag so this is the one i have mentioned up to the angular 18 uh, for all those standalone components we have this flag like a standalone true so here after uh, in this component side if it is there is no flag then obviously it is the standalone component if the flag is there and saying the value is false then it is model based component okay so we have this app dot model this model uh, declaration side we have this uh, app component was included and then for the configuration purpose we have this app model right and then main.ts file okay instead of the app.config here we have this app.model and for the routing we have this app routing model okay so since we enabled the server side rendering we have a respective server side rendering files also okay the first one is for the app model see we have a app model dot serve dot ts file okay the same way for the uh, routing see app dot uh, routes dot server dot ts file and in this uh, main dot ts also we have a main dot server dot ts file right and uh, other files all are similar to our standalone template like angular dot json and a package of json and ts config and all other files okay so finally we are in the end of the video i hope you got the idea how we can configure for the angular 19 application also the difference between standalone and model based template files and folders such a difference still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel so in my next video we can review what what are the new features are available in this angular 19 okay thank you thanks for watching